Hey guys, got my dual center console armrest extension in the mail today and you're gonna fit that to my STI. Uh, thought I'd do a bit of a quick unboxing. Uh, comes with a nice genuine Subaru packaging. Here is the box. It's actually really well built, considering uh, the amount of money it costs, it's pretty expensive. Uh, that carpet is uh, permanently in there. And this must be a cover that we attach on at the end. So that's what you get for your money. Um, now we'll throw it in. Okay, I've got a handful of tools um, with me that I feel I might need for this install. Um, apparently, we'll probably just need this uh, Phillips head screwdriver. However, just in case I need to remove any trim pieces or a little bit more detail, I've got some trim removal tools here as well. So the instructions say the first step is to pop out the cup holders and gently remove this piece. Yep, that piece came out fine. Apparently this can break, but it looks like we're all good. So there's just one screw to remove at this stage under here, which we'll do now. And with that screw removed, this piece should come off. And this should expose three screws up here. Three. This should remove our lid. Alright, so now we need to attach the original lid to our new center console box. Alright, when you line up when you line up the holes, uh, the box should also clip together. We're using two of the supplied screws that came with the box to attach the slid. Alright. Looks like we're working. Now we just need to reattach it. First we attach our plastic back cover that just slots right in. Need to give that a bit of this back cover a bit of force to clip in properly, but once you do it, it's pretty much there. And we'll just attach this with the last two screws. All right, we're looking pretty good. Everything seems to line up. Edges line up quite nicely as well. 
Now I'll attach it to the center console. There's a few little guiding clips just here. Just make sure the guiding pins are lined up and now we'll put our original three screws back on together. Pretty neat. If we operate it, the lid's pretty good. Grab the new clip. Works quite well. Pretty sturdy. Does it pass the sunglasses test though? Widthwise, but that way, moment of truth. We have a winner. So from an armrest perspective, oh yeah, this feels much better. Get the feeling passengers may feel that it's actually slightly too high. However, as a driver, I think it's going to be good. I'm a little concerned a little bit of sideways pressure might do some damage. It does definitely rock a bit more. And you can see that affecting the whole all the dash trim. So we'll have to be a little bit careful and keep an eye on it. But it's attached pretty solidly so I'm not really too concerned. I'm just happy it holds up sunglasses. From a driver's perspective, reaching gear stick here, I do have some ability to still rest my arm now, which is good, but I'll have to do a bit of a test drive to see how I feel about that. Uh, feels like a pretty good improvement so far.